Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to set up automatic update for the PlayStation Plus members out there. Um, if you signed up for PlayStation Plus, this is one of the big features that you get along with the games and discounts and all that. Um, go over here to the settings tab, just move over all the way to the left, right next to your users tab. Head on down to system settings, between uh, chat and theme settings. And what you want to do here is, right here is automatic updates. Click on it, turn it on, and you can set the time to whenever you wanted to do this. So this is a, a feature where you set a time for it to turn on, whether you know you want to do it while you're sleeping, while you're at work, um, or just a, any time of the day when it, for whatever reason. So I have it set on here for uh, 8 a.m. You have to be signed in for this, so make sure you're signed in. It'll prompt you to do that if you're not. And here is where you have your various automatic update processes. Um, download game patches. It'll take the sort of most recent games you've played and check for updates and download them for you. Um, here's where you will, uh, if there's a new firmware update, it'll download that for you. Then have it ready for you to... Uh, install yourself because that's something that you have to do yourself um, download recommended games and videos occasionally they'll have um, games betas demos that they like you to to push to your system this is where you can do that I don't really like it I like it to do that so I don't bother with it there's a uh, upload save data I'm not sure how you get that to uh, check mark on and off. Well that's because I have a bunch of stuff already set up for that in the game section. So I'll show you where to do that stuff if you want to uh, get it set up. But basically any of the games that you have uh, marked to upload their saves to the cloud that's where you can turn that on. And then uh, sync trophies. So if you don't want to bother with uh, the whole sync process because it's for me it's takes quite a while and uh, so I let the system do that on itself and that's automatic updates there it's all set up right there okay so we'll go over here to uh, my games and I'll show you how to start doing uh, the uh, updates to have the game stuff there we go PS3 stuff okay so when you go over here to the games there's a save data upload when you press triangle on the game. So as if you don't know, you press triangle, it brings up this menu, you start it, do all these other things. Right here, save data upload. You can turn it on and off. So if you only want certain games to upload their stuff to the cloud, that's what that does. And basically, let's go up here to the saves. Uh, right there. This is where it will store all that stuff. You get one gig of storage space, so that's really good. I have basically all of my games on here. And uh interesting thing about this is uh group content. You can store it by title or all just by pressing the square button. So here I got it all just laid out. When I put this it's all more organized. So that's really good. Um, and yeah, you can, if you want, you can just sort of go here, copy multiple, just sort of copy them all, go over here, select all, I'll go all these. Some of these apparently aren't able to be copied, I'm not sure if that's because it's locked, yeah, okay. So those are locked, so that's not going to allow that, but you can do that individually. Just copy it. So there's some ways to uh, get that whole process started. And everything else is automatic, nothing that you really need to do. Um, if you want to do the updates, help with that. Just go through all of your games, start them up. If there's an update, they're um, just a... Uh, let it start, then cancel it. It'll cancel you right back to the, the dashboard right here. 
so you don't have to lose too much time doing that. But then when it next checks for updates, it'll be right there and it'll do it for you. So you can sort of get all your games sort of on the list to check. Because I believe it's like the last 30 days. So that's how, so if you don't play all of your games all that often, they will get left by the wayside. Alright, so that's today's how-to video. So hopefully that uh, helps out some of you. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.